lately, I've been so hungry for color. I love, love leopard. Dyed to match cashmere sweaters and skirts. So Darte is my current favorite. I like wearing men's clothes. But what makes it less masculine, I wear like this wonderful brooch. I like surrealism. I like eyeballs and lips. This to me is a gorgeous piece. This is spectacular. And the giant, you know, Joan Crawford shoulders, the Claude Montana. Terry Mugler. Japanese kimono. It's actually a little girl's kimono. I think it's fun to dress up. It's, it's an exercise in creativity, and it makes you feel better. Sometimes you're in a funk, and you put something on and twirl yourself around, and bingo. You get treated nicer if you're well-dressed. I don't want to go around like a dreary old lady. I don't dress for anybody else. I dress for myself. If somebody doesn't like what I'm wearing, I don't give a shit. Look, this is Marilyn Monroe, but I think what I'm seeing here is Andy Warhol. Exactly. And I'm, I'm seeing anti-fashion fashion. I have my own ideas what I like and what I think is chic. I dress according to my mood. You don't want to look crazy. The object is to look as chic as you can, but your average person in the street would never wear this. Creating a picture, creating a piece Absolutely. of art within yourself. Absolutely. And I call it creating Right. What, what do you call that style? I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's just me. Too many people are so afraid and they just want to do what everybody else does and look like everybody else. Women see me and they say, I want to dress a little more fun. Yeah. I want color in my life too. So I give them permission to go right. ahead, do it, go start playing. Yeah, you can break the rules once in a while. I, my, I'm not ready for a convent or anything, so I can wear leopard glasses. Young women, you're going to be an old woman someday. Don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. Don't worry about getting older. Every era, it builds character. <laughs> I'm not